gradients. And now we go and we see gradients, midpoint, distances, angle of inclination, equations of straight lines. What is that? What is this? This is your analytical geometry questions or we say co ordinate geometry so then you know after stats you're going to get analytical geometry and you're ready for this you can do this and it's going to be gradients midpoint distance angle of inclination you know that and then in the same question you know after that you get another analytical geometry question and it is your circles so you're first going to get the normal gradient, midpoint and distances and then you're going to get your circles. I wrote down the formula there for your grade 12s. If you want to write it down, you can write this down, but it's on your formula sheet. What's the x? x? x is the x coordinate of the turning point. A, no, no, this is x minus a. This must be, let me just write it down for you again, y equal to x minus a squared. I turn it around everybody, sorry for that. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. What is the a? The x coordinate of my turning point. What is the b? The y coordinate of my center. The x coordinate of my center and the y coordinate of my center. Very important. They always give you a circle. Always, it's the x coordinate of the circle, that's the y coordinate of the circle. And I wrote here that we use completing the square to get it into that form. Remember, completing the square to get the circle in the above form. And then in circles, remember, we can ask you to find the equation of a tangent. What do you know about tangents and circles? You know that a tangent is perpendicular to a a tangent is perpendicular to a radius. Remember that. A tangent is perpendicular to a radius. So if I give you a circle and I draw in a tangent and this is my center, immediately know this is a radius. This is a tangent and it is perpendicular. First find the gradient of your radius and reciprocate it to get the gradient of the tangent. Please, everybody, I wrote there that analytical geometry is plus minus 35 marks. Two questions, more or less, 35 marks, lots of marks, and I want you to do well in it.